Hello, welcome, Burner here. Today I will be replacing a knock sensor. Uh, I recently realized that the knock sensor was bad because my loving wife bought me a durametric cable for Christmas, which is awesome. More details on that to come. So, knock sensor. Uh, apparently they don't usually break, but mine seems to have broken. Good news is, bought this for a little over 20 bucks and it should be really easy to replace. Right, so we're at the top of the engine. I've already made a video of that whole process if you want to check it out. There are two knock sensors, one for each bank of cylinders, and they're located kind of underneath the intake manifold, so on this side and this side. And when it gives you an error code for the knock sensors, it'll tell you bank one or bank two. Um, so that's how I know uh, I believe bank one is this side and bank two is this side. So that's how I know which side to get at. In order to get at it, obviously it's kind of difficult to reach around in here. Uh, so I think I will just take the throttle body and the plenum off, take all this stuff out, uh, and it should be really easy to get in there. It's easy to take this out. We just have to take these hose clamps loose. You've got to take all four of them off. This allows you to slide this guy up out of the way. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Slide that back there. Beautiful. So now that's loose. We'll also have to take the hose clamp loose here. So we don't want to mess with this tube. This snaps in and it snaps in very securely. There we go. Now everything is loose except for the throttle body. Uh, there, are, there are three bolts here, so it's kind of confusing. Let me give you a close-up view of that. Now you may be tempted to try and take this nut off. You don't want to do that. You want to take these two bolts off down here. Works best with a good size extension. 10 millimeter socket, it should come right off. All right, we should now be able to lift this whole assembly out. There we go. Now this is the throttle body. If you have a Porsche built in 2000 or later, uh, it has an electronic throttle, which means all you have to do is just squeeze both sides of this plug here and disconnect it like that. Uh, earlier cars will have uh, an actual throttle wire that you'll have to disconnect. All right, so that's it. We'll just set this aside. So the knock sensor is actually located down here. It's a little bit challenging to get to, but there's a plug here. There's a tab on the top that you have to squeeze. Like most of these very old plastic clips, it can be a bit of a pain. Okay, so there's the clip. If I look through here at just the right angle, I can actually see what I'm doing. It seems that this is one of those pesky 12.5 millimeter bolts. And uh, there's not a ton of room to get at it. I found box end wrenches the best option here. Yes. There we go. Brilliant. All right, here's the old knock sensor. It's held on just by one bolt, right like that. So very simple concept there. Um, it's just a little hard to get to the bolt. Uh, here is my Bosch replacement part. You can buy a Porsche part for five times as much, but I don't know why you'd want to because uh, the one that's on there is made by Bosch. They're totally identical. One thing that I'm noticing about this one though, uh, the error code Code was that there was a short to the ground um, and this metal 
contact part right here has some dirt and grime on it. And I'm wondering if that was the issue. It wasn't allowing it to make proper contact with the cylinder head. When you put the new one on, you do need to clean the engine block really well. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, I have some acetone here. Uh, it's sold as nail polish remover, and I will be completely honest, I stole it from my wife. Uh, and I've got a lint-free rag, and I am going to scrub that guy until I get it really nice and clean. Unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to see it because it is hidden uh, so deeply underneath uh, here. But uh, trust me, that's what's happening. This is one of those jobs where you have to rely a bit more on feel than you do on sight. Knox sensor sits almost on a pedestal, so you can feel the ridges of where it sits. The Knox sensor is a bit like a stethoscope, so it needs to make good contact with the engine block to work. That's why we're being so meticulous about cleaning up the seat where it rests. Okay, let's get this guy reinstalled. Now, since it's just one bolt, it does swivel a bit. Make sure that you have it positioned so that it plugs in the right way. There we go. When you reinstall the plug, it should kind of click into place. You'll actually hear it click. So that should be it. We'll go ahead and put everything back together and then test it and see if that's solved our problem. When you're putting things back together, remember to hook everything up in the right order. So the plug for the electronic throttle goes underneath. So if you don't put this on first, uh, it's pretty difficult. You also don't want to forget the connection to the oil separator. That snaps into place. You might have heard it actually click into place there. I find it's useful to kind of get this thing in on an angle. It's a little bit easier if you get these three fittings in place, but not tightened down. And then you put the two bolts to attach the throttle body in. Good to go. Now all I have to do is reset the code using the Durametric tool and then drive it around a bit and see if that solved the problem. The knock sensor is actually a really interesting part of how the engine manages its timing. And now that I have this Durametric tool, I can actually look at real time at what the engine is doing with the ignition timing. So in a future video, I am hoping to really dig into how an ox sensor works, how timing works, and how that's related to the type of fuel you use, which in my nerdy brain is all really interesting stuff. And hopefully you'll find it interesting too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, see you guys.